Hi, this is my research brief on Brown Brothers, Harriman and Co. in regards to their interaction in the slave economy and the contract. Brown Brothers and Harriman started off with Alexander Brown stationed in Baltimore beginning his linen business in 1800. Eventually seeing the cotton trade run vast, Alexander would send his son to Liverpool to open a house for importing cotton from America. Eventually with their business running smoothly but still in the starter phase, in 1825 Alexander would finally go to New York in hopes of promoting the business with his sons and acquiring greater facilities and networking with his southern friends slave owners if you will by the late 1820s they would land the position as one of the greatest cotton traders between the u.s and liverpool the brown brothers were in the heart of slavery in the 30s and didn't bat an eye with their 400 dollar profits 400 thousand dollar profits per year with each brother holding a large percentage of shares in the cotton imports being that this is reality for many other banks Instead of a simple apology letter, instead of a simple public service announcement, it's been seen that when a, a great um, a, a great step forward in the right directions is slavery reparations, payments for slavery in which are re-emitted to the descendants of the enslaved people, or even scholarships. These reparations are compensating for all the lost wages, the suffering, the death of everyone who was enslaved, everyone picking the cotton for Brown Brothers to trade for other banks to exploit. One big bank that we know well is J.P. Morgan. They provided $5 million over the five years for full tuition of African-American undergraduates at Louisiana to attend college. Other banks send money to organizations. Other banks send money to actual ancestors, people now that are related to the ones that were suffering. We look at these examples for what Brown Brothers and Airmen could do. Moving forward, with these examples, the bank should attempt to look at data and attempt to track back the influence that they've had so they can send money to the right places in regards to reparation. Being that this is so many years ago, however, sometimes it could be challenging to give money to the right people, the right families, the right places. So following in similar steps as J.P. Morgan with scholarships could be a great choice, or even Amalgamated Bank, uh, the largest union-ran bank. They provide money for African-American organizations. Another step forward besides financial reparations is not only coming out with telling your history with slavery, as Harvard has just done with a 100-page report, Another great thing which universities, for example, and other schools do, is change their names because they're named after slave owners, people that were in the heart of the slave economy and other sorts of atrocities. Brown Brothers is just another one in which the beautiful name sits on a pedestal, which is glamorized, and what is being glamorized is the name of people that were directly involved in the slavery and the cotton trade. Even though this isn't the best solution, um, it's still one in which would make a difference and show the ancestors, the people, the general public where you are now rather than where you were a hundred years ago. Thank you for listening and have a good day.